Hey guys, it's Joel, and I wanted to do a quick video about intuition and trauma, and their kind of messy relationship that doesn't seem to be very well understood. So, what our intuition is, is it's our sort of pre-conscious, body-brain, subcortical, gut reactions to situations. Like, oh, I don't like this, I want this to stop, um, you know, or... You know, everyone says that they like this person, and this person's only said nice things to me, and their reviews look really good, but something just doesn't feel right. Something doesn't feel good there. Um, our intuition is a really important tool because it lets us heal, it lets us engage with our creativity, and it, more importantly, it lets us listen to the forces in the world and in ourselves that uh, help us engage with our soul, with our journey, uh, with our sense of spirituality that is uniquely us. Um, it isn't coming from other people. It isn't coming from, you know, books that we read. It isn't even coming from the intellect. It's coming from something that's older and deeper and, you know, intuitive. So one of the things that trauma can do is that it teaches people not to trust their intuition because trauma is also a gut reaction. And trauma is also a, oh, I don't like that. I see red curtains, I panic. Uh, trauma is also a, oh, when I see men in their 60s, I get uncomfortable. It's a gut reaction, felt, sense, an intuitive sense, but it doesn't come from us. What it comes from is a traumatic event that we haven't healed yet. And so when we haven't healed that trauma, I'm always reacting intuitively to these triggers that say, you, when you feel trapped, you have to get make yourself 100 times bigger, you gotta fight, you gotta over explain, get defensive so you're understood, you know, whatever your trauma response is. And so normally, if you have a traumatic event, those, those situations have caused you problems in life. And so what you've learned is, whoa, 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 I've got to turn that down. Because if I listen to my intuition, if I listen to my gut felt sense, I'm going to go off and I'm going to fall off the wagon and drink again. Or I'm going to have a fight at work. Or I'm going to have an anger management issue. Or I'm going to have a, you see what I'm saying? You know, all of these things that are trauma responses, what we've taken to mean throughout our life is our ego has tried to manage that subcortical preconscious intuitive brain it's taken to mean intuition is bad feeling is bad don't go there follow the rules do these steps do this detail oriented thing and that's good I mean we have to be able to turn off that in order to engage with recovery if you have an addiction in order to make progress on the detail oriented parts of life like budgeting and, and weight loss and, and career goals uh, you need to be able to do that it's bad when you've learned I can't trust my intuition at all I'm just gonna go to church I'm going to take in what the pastor says, I'm going to act exactly on it. I'm never going to say, is this the right community for me? Is anything about my personal spirituality different from my communities? Because I can't do that. That would require an intuitive function. And I've learned that's all bad. I'm going to shut it down. I'm just going to obey authority and follow the rules. So when you heal trauma, what happens is you're able to tell, are these intuitive feelings that I'm having something that I need to listen to that's going to help me engage with my creativity, with my healing, with my growth? to say, you know what, maybe this isn't the right path for other people, but it, it is the right path for me. Um, you know, I, I'm not learning that by asking people what to do, I'm learning that by feeling. It feels better when I'm this kind of person, or I'm in this kind of community, or I get in touch with this part of myself. So those little gut reactions that we have, if they're causing trouble for you, find a trauma therapist, maybe try brain spotting or, or EMDR, because you never really know, am I feeling uncomfortable around this person because they're related to the authority figure that abused me or made me feel trapped or hurt or judged? Or am I feeling uncomfortable around this person because there really is something that is kind of creepy and predatory that other people may not be able to pick up on, but my body and my mind on a deep gut level is telling me this is not good. And so uh, I think when we talk about intuition, one of the, uh, not fights, but one of the disagreements that I have really early in therapy a lot with new patients is they're like, no, I did this, I, I went to church, I drank three meals, I ate three meals a day, you know, I lifted weights, I followed all these rules, and I'm kind of like, yeah, but what do you feel? And that's a scary place to go because a lot of, you know, more cognitive counselors than me who have met with them before have told them, that's bad, don't feel, you know. And I, I don't think that maybe the therapist meant to do that, maybe some of them did. But that's definitely what patients take that to mean. And so at the beginning of trauma therapy, when I'm trying to get you to engage with your intuition so that we can separate what's a trauma response from what is it that my you know 
self and deep aware mind is, is wanting me to hear about myself and the universe and feel so that I can change my life and grow and be different, um, people can't separate those. So that's all that I wanted to say today. This is a short one. Keep in mind that intuition and trauma feel like the same thing, um, but those trauma responses are not intuition, and your intuition is definitely not a bad thing. Thank you. If you want more resources, check out the website at gettherapybirmingham.com. Thank you.